Hey everyone, Daedric here. Portalus on Aventus Hard Mode is one of the most difficult DPS mechanics in the game. This video will be giving a top-down overview on everything you need to know to successfully clear it. All the information can be intimidating, so come back to this video and look at specific parts if you need to. Setup Have one hot and either a burst heal or a second hot. Classes like Templar, Nightblade, Sorcerer, and Dragon Knight all have skills that can function as heals while still focusing on damage. Necromancers and Wardens are better off using two hots. Degeneration is a nice dot slash hot hybrid. Make sure at least one person is providing major breach through Elemental Drain or a class skill like Unnerving Boneyard or Deep Fissure. Gear can vary, but a few things to consider. You won't have all the group buffs. Playing full melee is possible but adds an extra layer of difficulty as you have very little maneuverability if you're trying to stay on the servant. Trying to maintain stacks on sets like Reliquin can be messy while learning portals. Servant Mechanics Gale A large conal AoE that can be blocked or dodged. If you dodge, either go forward or backward. Rolling to the side can clip your teammates. If taken unblocked, will launch your character far back, potentially out of the arena and killing you. Give your partner a lot of space if they have Gale, as sometimes you can't avoid moving left or right due to other mechanics. Time Echo Occasionally there will be a friendly AoE that spawns. This AoE gives a massive buff when you walk through it. Negate One person will be targeted with Negate. You have about a second between being notified and the Negate dropping. You want to avoid dropping the Negate on the boss as it will remove any AoEs, including juicy ultimates. Once dropped, just walk out as soon as possible. Translation Apocalypse The Servant will take a praying pose and start channeling. There's a 2 second buildup before the channel is interruptible. If you're in melee range of the Servant when the buildup ends, you'll be knocked back and unable to move for 2 seconds. The circle pattern on the floor is a good indicator of how far away you should be. You have 5 seconds to interrupt the channel. Not interrupting the channel will end the portal phase immediately and wipe through. Everyone is responsible for bashing. Always go for the bash even if someone always beats you to it. Due to the way enemies skew attacks, stalling the interrupt will give the team more time to parse. Try to bash with around 1.5 seconds left. Layer can be a bit tricky. Frostwell The servant will target someone and they will get an AoE. This is the exact same mechanic as the ones fates have. If you get the AoE, hug the boss so that the frostwell will be stacked on boss. If you don't get the AoE, move out of melee range so the well doesn't get dropped on you. Always block before the well drops, as it does a lot of damage on the initial hit. Once the well is down, make sure you are cleaving it so it dies relatively quickly. The longer it is out, the more damage each tick of it does. Lightning Storm The servant will start spawning lightning AoEs that loosely follow you, along with some random ones. These AoEs hurt a lot, so try to keep moving throughout the entire phase. The phase lasts 15 seconds, and other mechanics continue to happen, namely Gale and Negate. The phase always ends with pens and translation apocalypse. Pens. At the end of Lightning Storm, people will be selected and pinned. If pinned, you cannot do anything. Another teammate must use a synergy over your body, similar to Azara. There are three pin phases, which each one adding another person being pinned. One on the first, two on the second, and all three on the third. Try to avoid being in melee range when pins go out, as people won't be able to unpin you until after translation apocalypse is done building up. The closer you are to your teammates when pins go out, the faster you can unpin them. The third pin phase is the end of the portal phase. If it goes out, you have a few seconds to kill the servant with the residual dots. Strategy The servant almost always follows this sequence of mechanics. Negate Translation Apocalypse Frostwell Lightning Storm Negate Pen and Translation Apocalypse, Frostwell, Lightning Storm, Negate, Pen and Translation Apocalypse, Frostwell, Lightning Storm, Negate, Final Pen. Based on this pattern, you can do the exact same strategy every time with very little variance. Enter Portal and Parse from range waiting for Negate. Once Negate drops, come to melee range and parse. When Translation Apocalypse starts, back up to not get knocked back. Get the interrupt, continue parsing. If you get the Frostwell, drop it on the Servant. Lightning Phase starts, kite the AoEs around and wait for the Negate to drop. Once the Negate drops, start kiting to the opposite end of the Negate, 
keeping some space between your teammates. Rise right, Lightning Storm Man stacked tightly, so pin teammates are right where unpin teammates are. Unpin, get the interrupt, continue parsing. Rinse and repeat two more times. Other things to note. On hard mode, you have 90 seconds to kill the servant with 11.3 million health, which equates to everyone doing around 42k DPS. The actual number is a bit less due to group buffs coming in, time echo, but ideally you don't rely on those as they are inconsistent. Good health markers to pay attention to. Around 70% when the first lightning storm starts. Around 40% when the second lightning storm starts. Around 15% when the last lightning storm starts. Those markers usually mean you're on pace to clear if nothing goes wrong. If you're lagging behind all three of those, it might be a DPS problem. If your pace is good, then slows down, it might be due to people not focusing on damage due to a mechanic. Things that can go wrong. Not sacking for pins. The further a person has to walk to unpin someone, the less damage the pinned person can do. This can be bad for a second pin if no one is stacked. Dropping the gay on servant. This is something that shouldn't be happening, but mistakes happen. Dying. This is a massive time loss as someone has to res you, meaning neither of you are doing damage. Keep your hots up and don't take unnecessary damage from Lightning and Gale. Dropping Frostwell in a weird location. This can be a minor inconvenience, like having the angle dots in a weird way, to pretty bad, like having the stop focusing servant to kill the well. Everything that goes wrong makes the target DPS go up to clear. So while learning, focus on not making those mistakes first. Once you're comfortable, then focus on getting your damage up. The buff from Time Echo is great. Make sure to grab it if it's near you. If it's far away, let a teammate know so that they can grab it. Don't risk teammates dying by being greedy with the buffs if they spawn in awkward locations. Speed strats. If you're just learning portals to get a heart mode clear, you can skip this section as it's not relevant to your goal. Naventus speed strats entails upstairs group pushing Naventus to fly while portal is still happening. This means upstairs will clear trash with three people down. There are some extra factors to consider if you are doing portals with speed strats. You have to communicate with upstairs to make sure it's a good time to come up. Depending on the speed of downstairs, there can be situations where clearing a portal at normal speed will spawn you in the middle of the arena wide explosion and kill you. Once you get the servant well into execute, it's a good idea to pull damage and wait for the okay upstairs before finishing the portal. There's also statue skips to consider, but they're mostly out of your control so don't worry about that. As long as you are stalling interrupts on Translation Apocalypse, you are doing all that you can. There's also another layer to speed strats called the portal skip. If you're still in portals when the next health threshold is passed for portals to spawn, you will not get another portal spawn. This effectively allows you to skip a portal, meaning portal DPS can stay upstairs for a phase. This requires very good DPS upstairs to pull off, as they have to push Navi, clear trash, and do another 10% on Navi, all in 90 seconds after portal spawns. As a portal DPS, you can help with the initial push on Navi by delaying going in portal by up to 10 seconds. If all three portal DPS do this, you now have 80 seconds to clear portal instead of 90 seconds, pushing the required DPS to around 47k. This isn't a big increase, but it's noticeable. Make sure your portal group is clearing portal with more than 10 seconds left consistently, doing it the normal way if you're wanting to do portal skips. Naventus portals are a challenging mechanic to learn, but feel so rewarding when you do clear them. It does take time to learn them, so don't get discouraged if you wipe a lot. If you liked the video and would like more content like this, leave a comment and a like. Have a great day!